pass it to uh, Debbie Weinstein, who I just mentioned is executive director of the Coalition on Human Needs. So welcome, Debbie. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks very much for having me. Um, let's see, is it possible for me to share my screen? Would, would that work? Yes. Okay, uh, here, give me a second here. And, um, oops. Just try, <laughs> some of this uh, doesn't show um, in order to, for me to. Uh, we see it. We yeah, see it. okay. I, I was trying to do uh, show it a little larger, but this will work. Anyway, um, uh, thanks very much. I, I wanted to talk to set the stage a bit uh, for the historic but temporary uh, uh, increases and uh, wonderful changes that have occurred through the American Rescue Plan. Um, and so trying to get, okay, here we go. Um, so one of the major aspects of the plan uh, is that it cuts child poverty in half in 2021. Um, it's a, those improvements are temporary. We don't want to just cut child poverty uh, for a year and then have everybody go back to being poor. So uh, just bear in mind how important it is that we, um, now that we've gotten this, that we keep it. But this gives you the sense <clears throat> more than half overall with very substantial increases uh, across racial lines. So it's a major achievement. Um, uh, among the things that happen in the American Rescue Plan, um, you're aware of the uh, economic impact payments, those stimulus checks of $1,400, um, the enhanced unemployment aid, $300 a week, in addition uh, to basic um, uh, in, uh, unemployment income uh, through uh, September 6th. We would have liked it to go longer, but um, we live to fight another day. Uh, the child tax credit, as I mentioned, is responsible for uh, really most of that uh, improvement in terms of poverty, dramatic improvement, uh, that's increased uh, and it goes for children um, uh, through the age of 17, used to be only through age of 16, and it's available for all children. You can't be too poor uh, to qualify for the child tax credit, which used to be the case. The earned income tax credit for uh, low-income workers without dependent children nearly tripled. Um, and there's even a special fund uh, of a billion dollars called the Pandemic Emergency Assistance, which is particularly important because it is uh, one of the few things that ca can be made available to uh, people uh, who are undocumented. Um, Food aid, dramatic increase in SNAP benefits extended through September, another one that we, we need to keep that uh, in order to get more adequate benefits to people. Uh, important, uh, if you remember from the Trump administration, so uh, unjust in its treatment of Puerto Rico and other territories, uh, the food aid uh, is extended to territories um, there's also an increase in WIC benefits for uh, young children and pregnant women, um, uh, more aid to school children and other emergency food aid, uh, housing, home energy, utility assistance greatly increased. Uh, we know there's been a moratorium on evictions, uh, not 100% effective, but certainly has been helping. But without rental assistance, uh, people will at some point be forced with homelessness and we have to uh, fix that. Uh, so this does provide some very important rental assistance 
uh, aid to people who are already homeless um, and uh, increases the amount to help people pay for heat uh, and utilities, which is extremely important. Bigger rearages are happening there. And for the first time, there's money for uh, people who are uh, overdue in their water bills to prevent shutoffs, all of that through September 30th. There's a lot of help in healthcare, uh, lowers the premiums for individuals getting coverage through the uh, Affordable Care Act marketplaces, fully covers the cost uh, if you become unemployed and uh, had health insurance, uh, the COBRA coverage that in the past people had to pay for, and if you're unemployed, pretty hard to do that, th that is fully covered. Uh, again, temporary um, Medicaid, a higher federal match to encourage the states that right now still have not expanded their Medicaid program. And we have heard that um, states, including Alabama, uh, are seriously considering uh, joining and expanding their Medicaid programs because of that. And also very important, the federal match uh, for home care, for aging and people with disabilities, uh, that's expanded to encourage states to do that. Um, there's a lot more public health outreach workers and of course the vaccine distribution that you hear about all the time. Um, there's more state and local aid. I, I don't wanna go too long on this. So uh, more money for childcare. Um, but just to uh, you know, basically finish up, as I started with temporary, is there are historic levels of assistance. Um, we fought hard to get it, and now we have to keep it. Uh, in Biden's American Jobs Plan, uh, there is an expansive uh, definition of infrastructure. That's very important. Uh, and, uh, and we have to fight for that broader definition. Um, uh, yes, okay, roads, bridges, public transit, but also uh, funding to uh, improve on racial equity in neighborhoods, correct for some of the wrongs that had been done in the past. Um, recognizing, of course, uh, fix problems like uh, drinking water, uh, a lack of safety, like in Flint and so many communities, uh, expand broadband, um, uh, upgrading public school facilities a lot for housing, uh, and a very, very important part, um, care work, helping people to be able to stay at home when they're aging and with disabilities. Uh, $400 billion through Medicaid for that. Another historic important gain that we've got to fight for. This is something uh, that he's proposed that we've now got to get past um, as well as job training. Um, and it is paid for uh, a great deal of it by corporate revenue increases. Um, coming soon, something called the American Families Plan. It's not out yet. Uh, that will include things like extending the child tax credit and the earned income tax credit. We're not sure exactly what else is in there. We assume uh, more child care assistance, health coverage. Uh, we sure hope paid leave and more housing assistance. So that's um, a, a race through both what we've won and what we still have to win. Thanks. Great. Thank you so much, Deborah. That was very informative and very thorough. Um, 